India reported the highest one day spike of 45,720 coronavirus cases and 1,129 deaths this morning, government data shows. The total number of cases has crossed 12 lakhs now and stands at 12,38,635. So far, 7,82,607 people have recovered, while 29,861 have died. While laying the foundation stone of the Manipur Water Supply Project via video conference, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that till the time the vaccine is developed, we have to vigorously fight against the coronavirus. Modi added the state government is working day and night to control the spread of coronavirus in Manipur. He said the country stands with northeastern India as the region deals with the double challenge of COVID and floods. A bench of Justice Arun Mishra refused the request of Rajasthan Speaker C.P. Joshi to stay the Rajasthan High Court proceedings on Sachin Pilot and MLA's petition against disqualification notice. The Supreme Court will now hear on July 27th the plea of Rajasthan Assembly Speaker against the High Court order. The court also asked on what grounds were the MLA's disqualified and whether a whip to attend a meeting outside the House can be issued. Outraged over the death of a coronavirus patient, relatives of the family set an ambulance on fire at Bilagavi Institute of Medical Science and Hospital on Wednesday night. The relatives of the 55-year-old man who passed away on Wednesday also gathered and pelted stones at the hospital building. A complaint has been registered against the people who committed the violence. Sonu Punjaban, who was Delhi's biggest sex racket operator, has been handed a 24-year jail term for trafficking a minor. Sonu Punjaban, alias Geeta Arora's accomplice, Sandeep Bedwal, has also been sent to 20 years imprisonment. Announcing the punishment, the court said Sonu Punjaban crossed all limits to be called a woman and deserves severest punishment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be attending the Bhumi Poojan of the temple site in Ayodhya on August the 5th. Keeping in mind the social distancing requirements, a total of 200 people, including 150 invitees, would be allowed for the Bhumi Poojan. Construction of the 161-foot-tall Ram Temple will begin after the groundbreaking ceremony. Nigerian terrorist group Boko Haram released a video on Wednesday that shows the gruesome end of five men who had disappeared while delivering food aid to remote pockets in northeastern Nigeria in June. Suspected Boko Haram militants captured the Nigerian men who worked for international aid groups and the government in a bid for ransom money and then executed them on camera, calling them infidels and alleging that they were turning people into unbelievers.